All right, well, let's pray, and then we'll take attendance, and I want to get to know you guys for a few minutes before we start the lecture, and uh, we'll go from there. Cool? Uh, the way I like to start my class is to get to know you guys a little bit more, and then obviously through the journey of this term, we'll get to know each other um, at a deeper level. But my name's Andrew. Start with that. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm 39 years old, and um, I like to play guitar from time to time. I have a wife and two kids. Um, and I've been here for 15 years, so it's been awesome to see what God has done here at Calvary. When I came, there were no campuses, there was no school of worship. I was 24 years old, and um, I, I've learned a lot. It's been awesome. It's been an awesome journey. So I just want you guys to know me a little bit. I went to Liberty University, got a four-year degree, went to Atlanta, did an internship at a humongous church. The, we're at a humongous church, but at the time I was like, this church is massive, and um, learned a lot. Um, I got challenged a lot. It was like the 300 voice choir, 70 piece orchestra kind of church. And I was like, oh, okay. When they're like, hey, go write an orchestration to this. I'm like, well, okay, what? How do you do that, you know? So when the Lord brought me here, he placed me in a church that was all about discipleship. And as a 24 year old, I started learning that side of ministry. Of like, okay, how do, you, how do you navigate the situations? How do you walk with honor? How do you have hard conversations. Like, and so the, the degree and the internship is really important, but the discipleship is, is crucial. And that's the part where Jesus is like, hey, this, this is central. So John chapter four, you guys can turn in your Bibles or on whatever website you want to use. There'll be some stuff from today on the, t on the midterm, so you want to make sure you take some good notes. Did everybody get the A.W. Tozer book? Did you order that? It's on the syllabus. It's not on the syllabus, but it's on the, it's on Populi. So here's the thing. Whatever happened to Worship by A.W. Tozer, it's a little paperback book, but we're going to read through it this term, and we, we'll read one chapter a week, and you'll be posting um, on Populi on the discussion boards. That's a graded assignment, but really it's your chance to engage with, the, with what Tozer's saying. And Tozer was a pastor back in like the 1950s, but what he has to say about worship is really strong, and it's very convicting. So it kind of makes you think, and you're going, wait, if this guy was thinking through this 70 years ago, it, you understand like the history of like what's been happening with worship and how, how Satan often wants to make it something that God never intended it to be. It's a great book. It's a great read. It's one to have in your library, like for your worship library for the rest of your life. Um, it's excellent, excellent book. Very easy reading, but it's very convicting. So you're going to read like two paragraphs, and you're going to be like, oh gosh. <laughs> and you're going to highlight, and you're like, i got to think about that one for a little bit. So... Right, Claudia? Yes. So good. So good. So every year we go through this, every year I read it, and it's one of those you're just like, wow, that's amazing. Now, the next one on the info tab, we're going to be talking about an overview of worship and what context means is really, really important. So a lot of people come to church without context. A lot of people read the Bible without context. A lot of people will throw a verse out there, and outside of context, it can be twisted. And it can mean something else that the author never intended it to mean. So as worship leaders, it's important that we understand context. We're going to talk about worship today and what John 4 says about it in Jesus' own words. We're going to talk about context because context is incredibly important. And then we're going to talk about Jesus because he's the center of biblical worship. And so when he, Jesus talks about worship, we listen. You know, When Jesus says, hey, this is what worship is, we listen. And that's foundational for everything we do beyond what the latest worship record is, beyond what um, this blog says, or this person, you know, posted on their social media feed. It's, what does Jesus say? And let's start there. Let's start the conversation there because he has authority. So, you guys with me still? So, worship content.